things that can't be seen, that can't be painted, we can't illuminate them. But the music, the sound can illuminate those. The theater has to surpass being theater. Music has to surpass being music. It has to be the sound of maybe eternity. So there's the sound of the past, of memory, of history, of the present. In this performance, for instance, I feel we made a good balance. I'm in a Carrington cycle. I was living in New York City and I was walking to a gallery where I was writing about, you know, some male artist and I happened on a window that had a Leonora Carrington painting mm -hmm. in it. And I looked at the painting and it, I said, oh, for the first time, here's my language. I understand mm -hmm. this. I spent 10 years with her. We talked about many things. I absorbed things from her essence of who she was. When I would ask her, what does this mean? She'd say, how dare you ask me? You do your own work. What does it mean to you? What do you think it is? What Carrington offers isn't a story. It's not a lesson. It's an opening of doors into other dimensions. No problem,